as you can tell, I got my GoPro on because we're doing a little bit of a quick little walk around. This morning was the last morning at the mountains. If you watched the last video, you saw we were up at the mountains for a couple days. We were hunting. Now I'm back home and I just came out to do a quick walk around. It's windy, so I was going to walk. Oh, 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 there's two more deer right there. Dang it. Let's go cut them off. They went way that way. Crap. Stay in here. Let two doe go up. That's four doe so far in 10 minutes. So they're laying down. checked up here there's nothing we're gonna go down to the creek bottom and we're gonna walk that creek bottom see if anything's sitting in the creek well there is nothing in the first creek bottom so we're down here on the south side of the hill where there's no wind maybe there's some deer down here we're gonna walk this creek bottom all the way down to the edge of the property it's a couple hundred yards like nice and slow really glad we let this grow up because now it's really thick and the deer use it for bedding and all sorts of stuff there's trails through it and stuff and what I want to do in the spring is come through and mow the majority of this with the bush hog and then just let it grow up real thick in the summer because it grew up really nice and thick right where the food plots were the rest was pretty much just matted down grass and stuff that's not really growing so if I would come through and mow it we might get a really good thick stand of stuff down in here succession maybe take place a little faster that's a pretty fresh scrape within the past at least week or two you know it's funny I've seen more deer in this one hour of walking around than I did in like two days of hunting at the cabin So last week I filmed a video about hunting a pearl and kind of what you need when you go out. You can watch that video if you click up here in the corner. Um, but one of the things that I said I wore was like a hoodie. And today I'm wearing this, um, nope, not that. Where is it? Today I'm wearing this Under Armour hoodie. I wear this thing every single time I go hunting and it is like one of the warmest things that I own. It's not super thick and it's not heavy, which is really nice, but it keeps me warm for some reason. So if you do want one, there will be a link in the description. Look for the UA Ridge Reaper hoodie. That's the camo pattern. It's an awesome hoodie and I love it. Well guys, it's almost 5 o'clock. That's about the time we have to call it quits. It's cold out, but I'm feeling pretty warm. I've been pretty cozy up here. I like gun season, I like the cold, and I really like hunting the snow because it's really pretty. Stay tuned, hunting season's not over, or there's going to be a little bit of break in the hunting videos here in the next two weeks or so. But we'll be back with hunting action. Don't you worry, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't, give this video a like, we'll see you in the next one. Ah, darn it. Oh. You guys, there was 
two doe out there. Right after I finished that interview, there were two doe and a buck. And I think it was at six point that I haven't seen a lot. The bigger one. And he was, I don't know, it's probably a hundred yards almost. And I didn't really know where to aim. You know, this, this, it's a slug gun. Well guys, it is the next day. And so what happened last night is right as I was kind of interviewing, right after I shot at that buck, my phone died, so I couldn't finish. So what happened was, I went out, I got out of the stand and I went and looked, and I didn't see any blood at first. I assumed I missed. By the behavior of the deer, I shot, the deer kind of ran 10, 15 feet and looked around all confused and everything, and then proceeded to run towards me at a kind of diagonally and then back into the woods. So I came back to the house, dropped my stuff off, and I, me and my brother actually went back down to kind of look. We actually found a few specks of blood. We tracked these little specks for about 20, 30 yards until it got into some kind of thick grass, but there was snow as well, but we completely lost the trail. We could not find, we kept going back to last blood because we marked last blood. That's a really good thing to do when you're tracking deer, especially if you're having trouble tracking it, always mark last blood. So we went back and marked last blood and looked there. We could not find the trail after that. Then we cut fresh tracks and I went towards where I saw the deer last. I was, I, after I shot, I saw the tails of the deer through the woods. So I went over there, we went, kind of into the woods and checked there. I ended up kicking up a few deer. So we went over to where the deer were, tried to look for some more blood, could not find it. So I was really confused at where I hit it. Like I put the reticle right on the deer, right on the upper shoulder. It was a 90 yard shot. I pulled the trigger, I shot, and I guess I, I just clipped him or something. So this morning I was talking with my, with my dad and he was like, he told me that he looked through the, the crosshairs and everything of that that scope and lined up the iron sights and he said that yeah I probably would have missed low so we've come to the conclusion that I just nicked the bottom of him just clipped to maybe a leg or just the belly or something there wasn't any hair so I'm thinking it, I might just clip the leg so that makes me feel a lot better that I didn't like really injure the deer at all just kind of nicked him and because he was he was running perfectly fine he looked perfectly fine 